Welcome to Guided Mental Prayer. Close your eyes. Please kneel if you are able, or sit upright and attentive to prepare your heart to receive what God desires to tell you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, come upon me. Please teach us how to pray. We are all unworthy children. We've all sinned mightily against you. We are sorry for that. We need your help to be good. We need the gift of mental prayer. We ask you to have mercy on us and lead us to the truth. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit and they shall be created and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Lord, we pray you have mercy on us for all the sins we've committed and the things we failed to do, for all the ones known and the ones you've yet to show us. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because of thy just punishments, but most of all because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Saint Michael, the devil does not want us to pray well. We ask that you wrap your wings of protection around us, so that we can hear the voice of God clearly without any distractions. Protect our minds. Protect us from any doubts, from any desolation. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. My guardian angel, I love you. Please help me to pray well. Thank you for being here with me today and every day of my life. Help me to make this a fruitful meditation and a time of mental prayer. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and to guard, to rule and to guide. We will now pray for the intercession of your patron saint. When there is a pause, say your patron saint's name. Eternal Father, I wish to honor Saint, and I give you thanks for all the graces you have bestowed upon him or her. I ask you to please increase grace in my soul through the merits of this Saint, and I commit the end of my life to him or her by this special prayer, so that by virtue of your goodness and promise, Saint, might be my advocate and provide whatever is needed at that hour. Amen. Blessed Virgin Mary. I believe that you are really here, present. I believe that you love me. I believe that you're praying for me. I believe that you are the mediatrix of all grace. And you will give me the grace to do this well, because you love me. I consecrate this time of prayer to you. I do not know what I am doing, and I need your guidance. Help me to pray well. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus Christ, I believe you are really here, present. I believe you are in my soul. You want to teach me mental prayer, and I have to persevere. Help me to do this well. I believe that you are the head and I am the body, and you and I are connected and we are one. I believe you are holding me into existence. Help me to see you. Jesus, with this prayer please blind Satan, so that we might hear nothing but your will, O Lord, and whatever saints you wish to speak to us through. My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together, may our hands gather in unity, may our hearts beat in unison, may our souls be in harmony, may our thoughts be as one, may our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. We will meet you in today's Gospel.
When the days were completed for their purification, according to the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two pigeons, in accordance with the dictate and the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death, before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them, and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Now imagine, be present in that moment. You feel the vibration of your footsteps against the stone floor and the cool morning breeze as you enter the temple. You see Jesus and Mary arrive as well, and Simeon. Simeon takes Jesus into his arms and says, Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and to the glory of your people Israel. When Simeon is done proclaiming his blessing, he gives you a turn. Do you take Jesus into your arms and hold him? What do you say to bless God? You give Jesus back to Mary. And Simeon says to her, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Contemplate that for a moment. Ask them, what do they think about it? Talk with them. If that's the destiny of the Christ child, of whom the church is a body, then what is your destiny? Tell them what's on your heart and listen to them.
Blessed Mother, you are our sweetness and our hope. We consecrate our prayer life to you. We cannot do it without your assistance. Grant us the graces to pray when we don't want to. Grant us the graces to wake up and get on our knees or sit straight. And offer our day to Jesus through you. Lord, we believe. Help our unbelief. Lord, we love you. Forgive us for not loving you more. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. <laughs>